In the upcoming exercises, we're going to be getting into the use of using description keys. Now, Autodesk has an overview of what a description key is. They say right here, use description keys to automatically control some drawing point properties, such as the appearance of a point in the drawing when you create or import points. So what they're saying is, is that when information is being imported from the field, there's a raw description that is listed within each and every point. And description keys can be created in order to format these points with a particular raw description to look in a particular way or to be placed on a particular layer. So for example, if you're importing existing data, for example, existing tree points, and you'd like to be able to format all of these points that get imported into the program in a particular way, you can create, say for example, an existing tree key description that specifies that any point that has a raw description with perhaps the word tree in it, then that point gets placed on a particular layer and it gets formatted in a particular way. Let's go ahead and put this into more of a practical application. Currently, I'm in the O2 points-1 drawing, which is located in your tutorials folder. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to go into our settings tab within our tool space and we're going to expand this point group. Now you'll notice that we have this description key sets. Go ahead and expand this and we're going to click on description key sets. We're going to create a brand new one by right clicking and selecting new. Then we get our description key set dialog box. We need to specify a name for our key set. We're going to call this stormwater keys. Then we're going to click OK. And as you can see, it gets listed underneath our list of description key sets right down here. Next, go ahead and select our brand new key set, then right click and select edit keys. We get our panorama palette and we're going to expand our code column just a little bit more so we can see things a little bit better. We're going to create a brand new description key code for pond for all of our pond points. And we want to put a star or a wild card after the word pond just in case there's additional text after the word pond in our raw description. Within the style and the point label style columns, we're going to uncheck these boxes to deactivate them because we're not going to be diving into those just yet, just to keep things simple. Now within the format column, we have this strange bit of characters here. We've got a dollar sign and an asterisk. What does that mean? Well, this specifies that whatever our raw description is going to be, that will be our full description. Or in other words, whatever's listed as the raw description will be the final description that's listed next to the point. Lastly, we're going to place this description key on a particular layer. We'll check this box, then we'll click right next to it, and then we're going to scroll down until we get to V node storm, which is right here. Then click OK. So we've just finished creating just a basic description key. Now we'll create a brand new description key and we'll format the raw description in a particular way. We'll do this by right clicking on the pond code and selecting new. Click inside of this box. We're going to name this raw description manhole ST. This will be a key description for any raw description that contains the text MHST or anything behind those characters. We're going to change the format of the raw description as it imports into our drawing. We're going to do this by clicking within the format and we're going to type in storm MH or storm manhole then press enter. We're going to place this on the same layer. So check this box. We're going to put this on the V node storm layer. Scroll down until we get to V node storm. There it is. Then click OK. So now just as a recap, since we've created this brand new key set code, any code that gets brought in that has the raw description of MHST will be formatted in its description to say storm manhole which will be listed right next to the point.
Also, just to be consistent with our first description key, be sure to clear the point label style checkbox. So that's how you go about creating just some basic description keys within Civil 3D.